so, okay, I'll try and keep this brief. Basically, I came to know the Lord um, through a Sunday church when I was in high school out in Big Lake. Um, my wife, she, her family is Christian, but they don't go to church, but they've always kept the Sabbath. Her father had a great controversy, a very old, big version of it, and so her father taught her that when she was very young. Um, but it's only been about four or five years that we've both felt convicted about keeping the Sabbath, even though we were attending a Sunday church. Um, so it was back when I was in college. We were keeping the Sabbath, um, but we were still just very confused as to why all these churches just weren't following it. Um, well, here comes my wife. Oh, come on up. <laughs> come on up. Um, so basically, it was, I don't know, six, seven, eight months ago. I don't really know the time frame. We were just praying and asking God for truth about the Sabbath and why we felt like we were the only ones and we weren't familiar with the SDA church at all. Um, and we got a great controversy randomly in the mail. And she read a little bit and then she ended up reading the whole thing. And every night I'd come home from work, she'd be like, can you watch Mike? I need to read this book. And she would just read through it. And um, just the truths in it that matched up with scripture, we were just like, Lord, thank you for answering this prayer and, and showing us truth. And um, it was, I don't know, maybe three or four months ago, a little bit after that, we went to uh, Takitna on the train. We got some passes out there just for the day trip. And we had a good time out there. We brought some friends. And then she just felt impressed to go to the river. And I was like, I don't, the river's not that cool. I don't know why she wants to go there. But she just felt impressed to go there. So we went there. It wasn't remarkable at all. We were just like, okay, why did we come here? We had to get back to the train. We had like 20 minutes, so we were just running from the river to the train. And halfway in between is Roger and Diane Merrill's bunny ministry. If you're not familiar with that, they, they just set up a booth. They have bunnies that they wrap in blankets. They're little bunny burritos that just draw tourists in. And they just hand out great controversies and all these other books about healthy eating and just anything you can think about. They're just giving them away hmm. to all these tourists that come from all over the world. And so she saw that great controversy, and she was like, who are you? And long story short, they've just been texting and talking, and Diane's just been feeding us videos of the just more and more truth that we've been praying for for years. Um, and so we ended up going out there and staying with them and just heard, they told us about Pastor David Chin and the O'Malley Church, and they're like, oh, it's a great church, you'll get lots of meat, uh, you need to go there. So. That's what we started doing. We started coming here maybe, I don't know, a month and a half ago. Um, and it's just been a remarkable journey to, tr to find truth. If you, you know, like the word says, if you seek it, if you knock, you'll receive it. And that's just what we have found Amen. through this incredible journey. Amen. Um,